Imagine digging into the dirt, expecting to find a few broken stones, but instead you pull out something that shouldn't exist. Tools so old they don't just change a few lines in the history books, they burn the whole chapter and start again. Today we're going through real prehistoric discoveries that completely flipped what we thought we knew about humanity's past. In 2011, a team led by Sonia Harmond was working in the dusty riverbeds of West Turkana, Kenya. Their mission? Search for early human fossils. But one wrong turn on a dirt path changed everything. They stopped for lunch, noticed an odd scattering of fractured rocks, and decided to investigate. Well, what they found were 149 stone tools, now known as the Lamaquai tools. They're carefully chipped and shaped, buried deep in layers of sediment. After dating the site, the results shocked everyone. Free 3.3 million years old. That's 700,000 years before the earliest known members of the Homo genus ever appeared. These were deliberately made tools though, sharp edged flakes, pounding anvils, and hammer stones. But if humans didn't make them, then who did? The leading theory is that a distant human ancestor like Kenyathropus thadiops or a late Australopithecine made them. Before this, the oldest stone tools were from the Aldewan tradition at about 2.6 million years ago. Aldivai Gorge is like the holy grail of human evolution. In 2025, scientists digging here found something completely unexpected. A cache of 27 bone tools dating back 1.5 million years. Until then, bone tools of this kind were thought to appear around 500,000 years ago. This find pushed that back by a million years. Some of these tools are made from elephant and hippo bones, carved into points and scrapers. They may have been used to dig up edible roots, process animals, animal hides or break open bones to get all that nutritious marrow inside. Craftsmanship was deliberate here, flakes removed in a controlled manner, edges smooth for gripping. The makers were likely Homo erectus or Paranthropus bolsii. This discovery showed that early humans weren't just bashing rocks together, they were diversifying materials and showing complex problem solving skills much earlier than anyone would have thought. Wood rots fast, so wooden tools almost never survive from prehistory. That's why the Clacton Spear tip is such a big deal. Found in 1911 in Essex, England, it's a finely carved spear tip dated to around 400,000 years ago. The tip was sanded and shaped with incredible precision, meaning the maker wasn't just improvising with a stick. They had knowledge of wood's properties, shaping it for both durability and aerodynamics. Likely crafted by Homo heidelbergiensis, this spear tip suggests early humans in Northern Europe were hunting large game, probably with coordinated group tactics, hundreds, thousands of years before modern humans even evolved. In 1994, in a coal mine in Schoningen, Germany, archaeologists uncovered 10 wooden spears dating between 300,000 and 400,000 years old. These weren't crude branches, they were carefully shaped from spruce and pine, with balanced weight and pointed ends at both sides. Tests showed they could be thrown up to 70 meters, making them the earliest evidence of long distance projectile hunting. Alongside the spears were butchered horse bones, meaning these hunters worked in coordinated groups to bring down big prey. Find proved that early humans had advanced hunting strategies and social cooperation far earlier than textbooks suggested. In the late 1950s, along the shores of Lake Edward in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo, a small but extraordinary object was pulled from the ground. At first glance, it looked like nothing more than a thin weathered bone, roughly the size of a pencil. But on closer inspection, archaeologists noticed something pretty crazy. Three carefully carved columns of notches ran along its length. Radiocarbon dating showed it to be around 20,000 years old, placing it firmly in the Upper Paleolithic period. The arrangement of the markings was not random. They appeared in deliberate groupings and patterns, meaning se suggesting sequences consistent with multiplication, division, and prime numbers. Some researchers believe the bone may have been used as a lunar calendar to track the phases of the moon, which would have been vital for seasonal activities like hunting or gathering. Others think it was a counting tool or a record keeping device. Whatever its true purpose though, the Ashango bone is one of the earliest known examples of symbolic thought. It shows that prehistoric humans were not only making tools to shape the physical world, but also creating instruments to track ideas, patterns, 
terms and concepts that existed entirely in the mind. In 2024, archaeologists announced a bizarre find, prehistoric tools carved from whale bones in France and Spain, dating back 20,000 years. These people were not hunting whales, they didn't have the technology for that, but they scavenged beached whales, breaking down massive bones into heavy duty tools and spear points. It shows a high level of adaptability using whatever the environment gave them. Coastal communities weren't just surviving, they were thriving with unique resources no inland group could access. On the island of Sulawesi, Indonesia, scientists in 2018 uncovered stone tools dated to between one to two million years ago. The mystery? Modern humans didn't reach this region until about 50,000 years ago. So these tools predate our arrival by nearly one and a half million years. So who made them? The best guess is Homo erectus. But that raises another problem. They would have needed to cross significant stretches of ocean to get there. That suggests early humans humans were capable of seafaring far earlier than believed, or that an entirely unknown hominin species made the journey. In 2025, a new study on stone tools from South Africa's Middle Stone Age revealed something unexpected. The tools weren't just locally unique, they shared designs with tools from sites hundreds of kilometers away. So this meant prehistoric people were exchanging ideas, possibly trading tools, tens of thousands of years before the development of agriculture. So this paints a picture of a connected prehistoric world with information flowing between groups and suggests that social networking is not a modern human invention. It's been in our DNA for ages. In 1992, while digging for a highway in San Diego, workers stumbled on mastodon bones. First it looked like a typical fossil find, but then scientists noticed something odd. Some of the bones were broken in a way that seemed to show they'd been smashed on purpose to get at the marrow on the inside. Nearby they found big stone cobbles that looked like they'd been used as tools, like hammers and anvils. When they dated the bones, the results shocked everyone. They were about 130,000 years old. That's way older than the accepted timeline for humans showing up in the Americas, which is around 15,000 to 20,000 years ago. So if this is right, it means humans, or at least close human relatives, were here more than 100,000 years earlier than anyone thought. This has made the site super controversial. Some scientists say natural forces like falling rocks or animal activity could have caused the bone breaks, but others argue the way the bones were smashed, plus you know all the stone tools, makes it pretty clear that people were involved. If this discovery holds up, it could completely rewrite the story of when and how humans first arrived in North America. In 2023, archaeologists digging on Scotland's Isle of Skye uncovered stone tools that turned out to be between 11,000 and 11,500 years old. That might not sound all that crazy, but it's actually the northernmost proof we have that people have been living in Britain right after the Ice Age. Back then, this place was still freezing cold, super wild and very remote. Humans had to cross land bridges, like the one called Dodgerland that used to connect Britain to mainland Europe. What's really impressive is that these early settlers weren't just wandering around, they brought with them some seriously advanced flint working skills, which means they knew how to make sharp, reliable tools from stone. That helped them survive and thrive in an environment that was anything but easy. The discovery shows just how tough and adaptable humans were, pushing into these harsh, frozen places that most animals would never dare to explore. It's a reminder that from the very start, humans have been explorers, always finding ways to live in places others just couldn't. Well, I've been your host, James. I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.